Good afternoon from the New Books Head. It's the third game of the new season and it's AFC Telford United versus Salford City. Tuesday's 1-0 win at Chorley was a much better performance for the Yammies, who were forced into two changes with Jake Peasley coming in for the injured Danny Livesey and Anthony Dudley, who impressed in the second half at Victory Park, comes in for Manny Di Sarue. Last season's meeting here ended in a 2-0 win for Salford and a similar outcome would be warmly welcomed this afternoon. And Singh plays the ball out to the far side. His former club, Gloucester, will be looking to get a first win after being transferred to the National League South today. They're at home against Wealdston. Telford breaking forward here, though. Play into middle. It's picked up on the edge of the box. Curling shot comes in from John Marsden. So a chance to claim he took a deflection. Referee not interested. Simpson down the line, picked up by Newby. He's being held out at the moment by Piers He gets the block in and is going to bounce down where Simpson challenges for it. It's cleared by Burton, again by Richie Allen, and again by Maynard in the middle. It's good defending from the Amis there. Jay Beasley gets in to put it away from Telford again. And eventually it's worked. Scott Burton on the right-hand side. It's just trying to slow play down. Out to Phoenix now. What can he do up against Ross White? Gets a low cross into the middle. Beasley stabs it in. Beasley gets his first goal and gets Salford up on the score sheet here at the New Bucks head. Jake Beasley sliding in, took the chance after Phoenix rolled the ball across to him. And Salford have the lead after nine minutes here at the New Bucks head. He's being held up at the moment, Torre, just waiting for some support. He's got Allen to his right, Pierre Gianni behind him. Pierre Gianni rolls it into Rich Allen, who's got a lot of space in the midfield to use. He's going over to the right-hand side, plays it into Phoenix. Phoenix looking for Beasley on his right-hand side, gets it to Beasley. Cross comes in to the far post. If Torre's underneath it, heads it back across, comes down to Dudley. Dudley shot block, comes back to Torre. But uh, Telford managed to get it clear. Dudley in the right place there for Torre's cross. Ball's played down the line by Telford. Piergiani chasing back. Crocombe's come out of his goal. Just does enough to seal that one out for a goal kick. But a good move from Salford there to pick out Torre at the far post. Dudley just met by a barrage of bodies from Telford. And remains 1-0. Piergiani again with that ball clear. Telford throwing a few more men forward. Dunbar on the right-hand side. Solid challenge from Pierre Gianni, just letting the former Stanley Bridge midfielder know he's there. Interception at the back, gets it down to Sir Burton. Support ball backwards, and sets by Marston. Marston now wants to drive foot, looks up, goes to shot, straight at Crokham, and Crokham makes a save. Sir Burton just needed to be aware there. Telford, like you said, are putting that high press on. Crokham with the goal kick out towards the right hand side. Phoenix heads it down into Dudley. Dudley cushions his head about to Maynard, who's crowds out by two players, and he's fouled as well, so it'll be a free kick for Salford. And Salford with the less players forward. Nottingham floats the ball to the left hand side. Piers Johnny heads it down. Maynard takes it first time. Just wide to far post from Lowe's Maynard. He watched it onto half volley over shoulder. It's not an easy technique there, but he's just inches wide of the post, throwing for Telford again on the far side. Taken by Simpson into Vita Newby, trying to burst into the box. Now comes to Marsden, Scott Burton with the good challenge to get it away from the former Stockport forward Marsden. And a great ball from Dudley out to the right-hand side. Beasley, touch out in front of him, he's got the pace here to get into the box. Jake Beasley looks up onto his left foot. Beasley still going, taken down from behind there by Jordan Goff. It was a good challenge, he knocked the ball through to Jassing. Just as Beasley was about to open up the tank, it was a good run and a great ball across as well to pick him out. Nottingham throws it back to uh, Hogan. Hogan with the great ball in, comes back to Nottingham onto his left foot, goes to the low shot in towards the near post, but it's saved by Singh. Attendance this afternoon, 1,335. It's a really good effort and good turnout so far. Salford attracted crowds of over 1,000 in all three matches thus far. Free kick for the Amis just inside the, their own half. Bejani trying to spread the play to the right hand side. It's uh, come off strong, but Dudley's kept it in play. He's got Beasley just behind him, plays it back to Beasley. It's a nice turn past Curtis Strong by Jay Beasley. Sits it back through for Dudley. Rich Allen's got there though. Allen pulls it back. Phoenix coming away. Just wise the far post from Mike Phoenix. Lovely play there from Salford on the right hand side. Allen, really good determination to keep that one in. And Phoenix. He's uh, just his body position well. And he's just sent that wide to the far post, so it remains 1 0 after 73 minutes.
Phoenix passing with uh, Shay Strong. The linesman's given the free kick for Salford. Could have gone either way with that. You might hear the goals around it. Six one half does the other. Phoenix had as much of Sutton shirt as uh, Sutton had of Phoenix's. Torres still standing, waiting to take the free kick. He's going to be able to take it now. Goes an in into middle. Phoenix got underneath it. Sat in. Phoenix gets his first of the season. And Salford lead 2 0 here with the new Bucks head. Perfect ball in from Ibi Torre. And Phoenix going behind the defence from the middle of the box, put it into the far post. And that's Salford City leading 2 0 as it was last season. And there are some good celebrations down there as the team get together and finally show that they're starting to come together. He's got Newby just outside of him. Newby, right foot to cross into the area. Had a clear on challenge again by Perjani at the top of the box. Brought down by Lussie out to Dunbar. Dunbar into Hayden, cuts inside of Chukwu. Hayden chips it over the top. So brought down by Barnes Homer. Referee checks a watch. Beasley gets the ball clear. Ogham Rindy's going to chase this one down up against Sutton. Referee does blow the full time whistle. And Salford City have a second consecutive win after a 2 0 win here at the New Bucks head. Goals need a half from Jake Beasley and uh, Mike Phoenix, their first each of the season. And all round, a very accomplished performance that Salford can be happy with.